Now see next we will start with the nature of the graph for the Simon tennis linear equation. For the given Simon tennis equation a1x plus b1y is equals to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equals to c2. The nature of the solution depends upon the following three conditions. See if a1 upon a2 is not equals to b1 upon b2 then the graph is intersecting line. If a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 which is not equals to c1 upon c2 then the graph is parallel lines. And if a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 then the graph is coincident line. See remember a1 upon a2 not equals to b1 upon b2 graph is intersecting line. If a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to not equals to c1 upon c2 graph is parallel line. And if a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2 the graph is coincident lines that is overlapping line. 5x minus 2y plus 4 is equals to 0 is a linear equation. Write another equation in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so form is parallel lines, intersecting lines, overlapping or coincident line. Now see the equation is 5x minus 2y plus 4 is equals to 0. So first we will write this equation in standard form that is 5x minus 2y is equals to minus 4. Comparing with a1x plus b1y is equals to c1. a1 we get a1 is equals to 5, b1 is equals to minus 2 and c1 is equals to minus 4. Let the equation of the second line be a2x plus b2y is equals to c2. For the parallel lines condition is a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 which is not equals to c1 upon c2. Now see we have value of a1 b1 c1 you have to find a2 b2 c2 so that we can write the equation. So substitute the value of a1 5 upon a2 b1 minus 2 upon b2 not equals to minus 4 upon c2. So see you have to take this a2 b2 c2 such that a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 not equals to c1 upon c2. So one of the possible value of a2, b2 and c2 satisfying the above condition is 10 minus 4 and 3. You can take any set of value but it should be a1 upon a2 equals to b1 upon b2 not equals to c1 upon c2. So equation of the second line will be 10x minus 4y is equals to 3. Now see the second for the lines to be intersecting that means a1 upon a2 not equals to b1 upon b2 not equals to c1 upon c2. See substitute the value of a1 b1 c1 phi upon a2 is equals to minus 2 upon b2 not equals to minus 4 upon c2. So see you can take the value of a2 b2 c2 one of the possible values of a2 b2 c2 satisfying the above condition can be 3 4 5. So equation of the second line can be written as 3x plus 4y is equals to 5. For the lines to be overlapping that is coincident lines a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 is equals to c1 upon c2. 5 upon a2 is equals to minus 2 upon b2 is equals to minus 4 upon c2. See all ratios become equal. That means you have to take same value as the numerator. One of the possible values of a2, b2, c2 satisfying the above conditions can be 10 minus 4 minus 8. So that all ratios will become 1 upon 2. 
so equation of the second line can be written as 10x minus 4y minus is equals to minus 8 so these are the possible equations a simple question if 12x plus 13y is equals to 29 and 13x plus 12y is equals to 21 find x plus y now we can observe both the equation 12x plus 13y is equals to 29 equation number 1 and 13x plus 12y is equals to 21 equation number 2. Now see we can observe there is interchange of coefficient of x and y. So you can directly find the value of x plus y by adding equation number 1 and 2. 12x plus 13y is equals to 29 plus 13x plus 12y is equals to 21 by adding you will get 25x plus 25y is equals to 50. We can divide throughout by 25. We get x plus y is equals to 50 upon 25 that is x plus y is equals to 2. In this way by adding the equations we can find the value of x plus y.